Hi, I'm Chris Field. I'm a, an international preacher and teacher. I have the privilege of traveling to many different places to share with people what the Bible has to say about the wonderful truths of what God has done for us through Jesus Christ. I've shared a number of videos here on YouTube and you're welcome to watch as many of those as you like and receive them. I've got teachings for you as well on chrisfieldblog.com that I trust will be helpful. My heart is to help people in today's generation understand what the Bible says and how it's relevant to the way we live right now. This is not a, a stale, dead book. It's a living word. And the things that we find written in the pages are as alive and vital to our lives today as they ever have been. So I love the Bible. I love the Word of God. I love the teachings of Jesus. I love the things given to us in the Old Testament, in the whole of the Bible. And I find tremendous wealth that has brought freedom and victory to me, completely transformed my life. And I've seen it do that again and again and again in people in many different places. One of the messages that I share a lot about is to do with the issues of family. I found out that God is totally committed to family. And so we put together a site called FamilyHorizons.net. And that's a place you can go and find some resources about marriage, about parenting, about family life in general. Another message that's very strong on my heart is to challenge men to be men. So I have a number of articles and books, things written about the subject of manhood. And I'd like to encourage that into the hearts and lives of all of the men. Marriage, of course, is the, the foundation uh, of, of family, and so we have a lot to say about marriage, and you'll find that uh, a book called Mending Marriages and Marriage Horizons, those books are available through the familyhorizons.net website. I think you'll find them very helpful, plus a whole bunch of stuff that I write on Chris Field blog on that whole subject. I want you to understand, you can confidently put your trust in the Bible and what it says and describes about God and about Jesus and about who you and I are and what's happening in the world. We have not evolved past the reality of God and the things shown to us here in the Word of God. God loves you powerfully and the truth of His Word is able to work powerfully in your life if only you'll receive it. So my job is to, to read it, to understand it and, and unpack it in a way that people who, who hear what I have to say will see the relevance of what the Bible is teaching us and that the way it impacts into their lives. So it's my privilege to be able to, to share and teach. You may catch up with me personally sometime, but probably you'll only ever get to hear my stuff through video or through some of the writings that I do. But I want you to know I'm concerned about you. I want you, each of you, to receive God's Word. I want you to be in intimate fellowship with Him. I want to be meeting with you in heaven and have you come up and say, Hey, Chris, I, I, I know you. I know you from some of the things that you did. I want to see that the power of God has worked in your life and caused you to blossom and become the person that he wants you to be. But you need to know it's not always going to be easy because part of the whole process is not just receiving all the good things God has for us. It's letting God do a deep work in our own hearts. He wants rulership of our lives. He wants to be Lord of our life. He wants to challenge us and have us respond favorably in obedience and yielding to him about a whole bunch of things that really shouldn't be in our lives. So I don't want to give you some impression that if you just read your Bible and go to church, Everything's going to be, you know, smiling and roses all the time. You're going to have some really serious challenges because God wants to take you deeper into him. And as he does, and as you allow him to, you're going to find greater, deeper riches from him in your life. Well, friends, I'm glad I can introduce myself to you in some small way. And maybe you'll get the chance to introduce yourself to me at some time uh, along the way as well. But I just encourage you, please receive from those whom God has sent who can bring God's truth and God's word into your heart and life. Read the word yourself, pray, be in intimate fellowship with God. Get amongst a group of Christians who are Bible-believing and who love God and who will, will follow him and allow him to work in their lives. And let's journey together in seeing the kingdom of God established on the earth in ways that might surprise even the people today who are looking at what's going on.